Good morning, everyone. Snoo here, and this is the sixth session out of ten. Uh, this would be where I stop running the maps and conclude with 500 if it had been last league, where I only ran 500 cemetery maps. So, you know, shout out to all you content viewers who <laughs> wanted me to push to a thousand. Uh, this marks the beginning of that push, I guess you could say. Uh, here we go. Dump tab open. I got even more exalts and chaos loaded in this time. Uh, this time primarily because this is the first time that I experienced a bit of an issue gathering the materials. Uh, the the scarabs in particular, I, I had to pay pretty hefty premium this time for some of the scarabs. I, I think it was uh, ambush, polished ambush scarabs. I definitely had to overpay for them a little bit. I, I threw in an extra couple of exalts. Uh, to mark up that uh, price, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, it, it says scarabs only worth like five chaos a piece. That's not true. <laughs> um, I had to pay upwards of ten or more, I think, for a few of those scarabs. Um, I do have live searches set up. You can find them for a cheaper price if you're patient. But um, yeah, when it comes to like, hey, I want those materials now. Gonna have to pay a lot <laughs> this time of the league. So yeah, you've been warned. I think I've heard some of some of you guys saying that you had some issues gathering some of the materials too. Well, of course, you know, if, if a bunch of us are doing this exact same farm uh, two weeks before the league ends, that's going to be <laughs> a bit of an issue, I guess you could say. Sentinels here back restocked up, and there are some maps to begin with. Exact same compasses as before. You know the picture. You're getting used to this by now. I suspect we don't have to spend too much time... Looking at all that, uh, let's take a look at the snapshot, see what the opening cost is. Oh, okay, so we climbed all the way up. See, it was 32 exalt last time. Now all the way up to 34.24 exalt. Exalt, I think, finally stabilized. at around 138 chaos per I, I, I'd be really surprised if they go lower than that. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> dump tabs are empty other than a couple of sentinels that are going to be uh, recombinated into something good hopefully got a bunch of gems backed up here got uh, greater multiple projectile supports backed up here still running uh awaken multi-strike supports you know what i think this time i'm not going to completely level these uh awaken multi-strikes i i'm pretty sure uh i'm only going to end up with maybe 12 gems in fact kind of starting low fairly low on the awaken exceptional gems i think i still managed to level two sets of those in 100 maps though not 100% sure. <laughs> we'll have to see. So let's get started here. We got uh, all, all of this ready to go. I already reset the dump tabs and the excellence and everything. Good to go. Kind of put that there. I'll get my nice little trusty timer going so we can verify that it's only taking me about six and a half hours to do 100 maps. I'll be starting off with I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 maps to start with. I actually got to go to work uh, here in a couple of hours. Uh, three days off coming up next, soon. However, I'll only uh, be playing for like two of those three days. I'm not up to that just Gonna yet. go to the beach on the third day, so that's exciting. Got beautiful weather here in uh, Tokyo for the holiday coming up there late July. Hot and humid, but good for beach weather, I guess. All right, you and we're going. Stop death. Oops! Set that timer going. Okay, timer's going now. <laughs> A little bit scatterbrained. Started on the wrong action bar and everything. Okay, I'll uh, <coughs> get focused here. Oh, that's a nice gift the Shrine Gods gave me. Oh, I did lose my Covetous Shrine, didn't I? I can kill the Harbinger right before the boss if possible. It really helps delay the... Uh, the mirror... That is pretty good sentinel. 
Ooh, 28% chance to duplicate the divination cards. Something I definitely like to see. Could get lucky right off the bat. Well, that's lucky, I guess, technically. Yeah, so the Deli Mirror's paused back pretty good. Another nice place for a Pandemonium Sentinel here, I think. Yeah, I did actually wrap up all the way around there. That's nice. Start to opening strong boxes now. 30 seconds left on that movement speed shrine. Stalker Sentinel nearing done already. I mean, all the Sentinels are nearing done already. D&D. Forgot to do that. I want to get everything I can out of this movement speed shrine before it's over. And now it's over. <laughs> there we go. I'm slow again. Look how slow I am. Sure as hell feels slow compared to what I was just experiencing. I love that shrine life. Uh, might be another strong box. I think I've basically opened them all. There might be one or two hanging around. I think I'll start looting. I did get one nice uh, sentinel here. Uh, tier 2 sentinel of mystery. By the way, if you go on trade and you see how much this costs, they're like minimum 1x. It's kind of crazy, but like this Sentinel right here is worth at least 1x right now. <laughs> if, if you actually try to buy it. Unfortunately, I'm not. I don't really have to buy them. But I was curious. I wanted to check to see the costs. Yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting. Makes sense. But, my goodness, what a time to farm. <laughs> Even like if, if the Sentinel's depleted, it's still worth like 1x. Alright, Dally Rewards coming in. Eighty Splinters is better than usual. And a Skittering Orb. Alright, I think that uh, basically concludes map number one. Three minutes and 40 seconds. Okay. That's how it is. This is natural affinity. With an exalted orb. No, oh, actually some pretty decent drops. To be honest. Red star. Seven years bad luck, okay. Map number four, that's pretty early. when Ooh. they are. <laughs> I just have to take them when they're given. And they always seem to be given at unfavorable times in respect to, you know, leaks, leak starts and stuff, so it's just really annoying. You know, the pay is pretty decent, but yeah, so it's just kind of standard salary position. I don't get much control, but definitely does have some benefits. I would like to switch to having more control and accept being paid a bit less and working a little less often and then start making some money doing this would be nice I think I can oh seven years bad luck I finally just started monetizing YouTube videos the first time. I will uh, create a Patreon here sometime in the future. I think I will announce a Patreon for the final video of this uh, 1000 runs sort of culmination video. Damn, I got an Enlighten and a good Recombinator base too. Oh shit. One of those staffs, I just sold one of those staffs for 1.9x. Magister's staff. 
That was a good run. Even got a raw divine orb and a raw exalted orb. Whoa. Everything is right with the world. And this is with a map that spawned June mission, which I don't like to see. Build a network of students and schedule your own stuff and maintain all that. That's, that's a huge amount of work. The Apothic. <laughs> okay, folks. This is easily the best start I've had. <laughs> 200 map session. Map number eight. I already have two seven years bad luck. Now an apothecary and an enlighten and two raw exalted orb drops. Holy fucking crap! That is a crazy drop. I mean, I feel like I feel like I got it coming to me. To be fair, I, I, I don't feel like I've had very good luck recently. Really, throughout the entire thing. Oh, now I get the div card duplication. Now I get, now I get the div card dupes. That's all right. Another apothecary or two could drop this map. I believe it's possible. An enlightened. Red star. Oh wow, I thought that was going to be a darker half because I saw it at the same time that the Delhi rewards came out. Okay, good. I was having a little bit of a dry spell. At least I got one of those. I, I can't... No, nah, I think I only have currency duplications on this map. <laughs> I'm so lucky to get a, a, a div card to drop at the very end of the map when I got gone. the benefit of all altars onto it. I still never found. That would be a really good time to drop a bunch of exalted orbs. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Hell, I might make that the screenshot, man. <laughs> oh shit. So. Oh, there's a card. There's a lovely card. Yeah. We're talking about bad apothecary RNG. The game spits out a dragon heart. You gotta stop with that. Ugh. Ugh. Duplicated void, though. That duplicated void. Yeah, I kind of disagree with that. I, I felt like the Apothecary drop rate was not all that much lower than Brother Stash. I don't think it's... I honestly don't think it's much lower than the Brother Stash. I think they're quite similar, right? My mana is full. I'll put it this way. I'm, I'm pretty sure the Brother Stash is no more than three times as rare. So the Apothecary is like eight times as valuable as the Brother Stash, but... They're not anywhere even on the same planet. Or th that representation is, is just completely off kilter as far as like, you know, that is to say the Apothecary might be eight times as rare as the Brother Stash. No. Well, speaking of seven years of bad luck, dropping like candy for me, there's another one. Wrong cards! Exalters, amulet, let's go. 5x, maybe. Nowadays. Good base, too. Exalters, citron amulet.
I did just hit a double exalt uh, or basic currency. I think it was my first altar in this map. Haha. <laughs> I can get double exalted orbs all day long. That happens so often to me. It's unbelievable how often that is. Well, there you go. It's just a matter of time then. I found uh, every divination specific card to this map that I can find in two maps. Yeah, you got it off of a separate mechanic, like a diviner's, like, like a, hit like a, you must have hit like a div divination card altar for Eldritch Mini. Double divine or <laughs> off the boss, oh my god. Oh my god, that is like, that is the most mean, worthy shit I've ever seen. <laughs> I've, I don't even know if I've ever seen an exalt orb drop off the boss before. Wow. That is some S tier memory. Good. The game got me good there. Yeah, if you have a sentinel that has divination card rewards, that can absolutely result in a doctor card dropping. I've seen the I've seen the apothecary drop off of the cemetery earlier this week. So there's that. <laughs> Enlightened, oh boy. Oh, and red stars next to the strong box. Uh, double it. I just can't get what I want. <laughs> Good drops, just can't get what I want. I want to do with my extra time, go to the store and get myself a chair. There's no way I'm going to count on that shit getting delivered anytime soon. So I'm not going to use Amazon for that. No! Whoa! Oh my god, you see those? Back to back, GG. Uh. Drops for the Hominators. Exalter's Amulet and Magister's Scepters. Basically dropped at the same time. Wow, wow, wow. Well, even if I get a new chair, I'm sure they'll start squeaking soon enough. So if that's what you like, it'll it'll come back to you, I'm sure.
Did any of you guys like watch where how I use the sentinel in here? Pretty bad when you're like upset that a seven years bad My luck drops. Well, I'm starting to get to, to get to that point to have these kind of upbringings where they just not socialize properly, if, or and uh, like lack of confidence in a lot of things. Third Exalter's amulet of the run. I've only seen up to one in a hundred maps, so this is three in a hundred maps so far. This is. Banging. I mean, these things are worth somewhere between three and five exalt. I just sold one for five exalt uh, shortly before starting this session, actually. Uh, admittedly, it was sitting at five exalt for like two days, but it sold. I've come to find that recombinator bases are not really something you want to put up and then lower. Over time, it's really just something you want to decide, okay, this is the price I want to sell it at, and I'm just going to sit on it till it sells. <laughs> and it always sells at that price eventually. Like, it doesn't really matter how expensive you make it. Oh, darker hat. Hadn't seen that in a while either. Yeah, uh, I was a little bit concerned when I saw what happened to the prices of recombinators that, oh my god, all these recombinator bases I'm finding are going to be worthless now because nobody's going to, everyone's just going to hoard the recombinators and not actually use them. Uh, it turns out that mentality backfired uh, pretty hard and fast, and the recombinator market then crashed back down to like almost the original spot. I mean, they are honestly almost around the same price they were before the announcement at this point. And people are just recombinating like crazy right now. I'm pretty sure like the, the market supply of recombinators is insanely high right now. And then the demand is also really high too for obvious reasons. Uh, because some people do want to recombinate stuff still. And then some people do want Greetings. to Go hoard them for standard. But a lot of people, you know, don't care at all about standards, so they're just going to use them as if that whole announcement never existed. Look at this, man. This is crazy. These are these are top-tier bases, too, man. And this is clean with no suffixes, even. That's, like, extra, extra strong. Basically can't get any better than that. It's another Recombinator base. The divination card. <laughs> cannot get a pop card. Oh wow, is this duplicate divination duplicate? My goodness. me some currency back in my day.
Welcome back, friends. I have some results to share with you. They are pretty good. This time, pretty good. Mainly because two Apothecary cards dropped instead of just one. <laughs> that, that'll that do it right there. Uh, but I do have some interesting things to report. Uh, let's start with... Start with Recombinator bases. So last map, or last uh, 100 map session I did, I had like unusually good RNG with the Recombinator bases. Hence the focus on them. Uh, for the thumbnail of that video. Uh, this time, not not so great, actually. Not not a huge number. Uh, except, I did get three Exalter's Amulets, which is absolutely enormous. I mean, I will probably sell these for four to five Exalt a piece. So, like, way above the value that I'm estimating here. But I, I'm just going to keep true to, true to the rule here and just count each one of these as worth one X on average. Uh, so, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Just 15 uh, high value recombinator bases in here, and just 12 awakened gems. So you can see here that my awakened multi strike supports are level 4. They didn't quite make it through the round, so uh, they'll no doubt make it the next time around. And actually, I think maybe the Awakened Exceptional Gems won't make it the next time around. May only end up with the 9 gems total next time, maybe. But this time we have 12. And you can see that for the gambling portion here in the near future is being taken quite seriously here. <laughs> with me doing a whole bunch of uh, Cloak of Tom, Double Corruption. Just really trying to get plus 1 uh, gems on that, if possible. And I think I'm like... About... Oh, I've missed like the last eight awakened exceptional, like high value, like uh, awakened enlightened. I think I've missed the last eight in a row. Uh, so <laughs> let's, uh, let's pray I don't miss that again. It's actually starting to hurt. Uh, between me double corrupting these cloaks and failing to hit the enlightens uh, many times over, that's actually eating into... Uh, all of my profits, actually. <laughs> Some bad RNG, but hey. I think we'll have a turnaround. Uh, it's nice to see that uh, two Apothecaries drop, so that's going to be right here. Uh, two Apothecaries and six seven years bad luck, so that was also kind of high on the RNG, I'd say. Uh, let's take a look at the Divination cards here. Enlightens, also six, so uh, that seems a little bit low, if anything. And then, what is this? Only one Dragon's Heart? Oh, only one Dragon's Heart. That's just breaks my heart yeah uh a, a big big announcement here for this uh video is going to be all about the recombinator so i did something a little different this time uh i had said in all the previous videos that even with the fluctuations in recombinators i was not really going out of my way like not not going way out of my way to select only recombinate uh only sentinel reward based sentinels i was still just kind of prioritizing on generic premium rewards uh sentinels uh whether that's currency or scarabs or divination or sentinel rewards obviously sometimes expedition rewards sometimes but i did something different this time and i focused uh explicitly I i'm not 100 percent sure i may have to double check <laughs> the vod but i think i only ran sentinels that had sentinel rewards on them I think I did, only exclusively. And whereas before I was getting roughly 100 to maybe 120 recombinators and 100 maps, uh, you can see here that I, uh, I, I flew past 300. Uh, way past 300. And that's a lot of currency. You can see that uh, the, the price tags here. And I don't feel bad about this now at this point, especially because the, the prices look actually quite respectable right now. They, they, they're almost as low as they were originally and even originally there at the price value it was a good idea to roll sentinel rewards perhaps the best uh maybe expedition would outweigh it maybe not uh, so i did decide to run sentinel uh reward sentinels and i learned a couple things doing that first of all um cryptic pandemonium bases is amazing even on Crimson Temple, I learned kind of how to maneuver around the map and make nearly full value out of that. You can see that. Uh, I have at least one here. 
Uh, so take this sentinel right here, for example. 268 enemies, that equals like 350 enemies. It would have been the highlight reel. Uh, 3.7%, that's a high tier 1 roll on the sentinel rewards. You can see that I'm not really prioritizing any other rolls. I do like seeing the increased number of enemies, obviously, uh, percent on there. But uh, yeah, you can see here in this, pandem this uh, primeval pandemonium sentinel is also really, really good, actually, like this roll on the sentinel reward not the best uh, base uh but that plus eight charge is nice obviously so what i've been doing is i'm still like self-sustaining these with the exception of one thing i have started purchasing cryptic pandemonium bases uh not sentinel rewards because i, I get sentinel rewards they trickle in just from all the sentinels and, and another big insightful thing is if you run exclusively sentinel reward sentinels and if you do it uh, like almost exclusively on cryptic pandemonium sentinels you're gonna get a lot of sentinels back <laughs> not just recombinators and you're just gonna be flooding the floor with sentinels and that's going to all the more increase the likelihood that you find more sentinels with sentinel rewards so it becomes easier to self-sustain if, if, if you can kind of get the ball rolling that way. So that's what I'm kind of doing now, and I think that's what I'm going to do moving forward. Uh, because it didn't get any harder to self-sustain, really. I will still probably have to continue buying a few cryptic pandemonium uh, bases, but I don't think I'm going to have to buy any sentinel reward bases. I mean, maybe if I get some really bad RNG uh, recombinating these back into each other. Um, but but like what what I might do with with this one right here, what I'll probably do with this, I'll probably just pair it up with another cryptic pandemonium sentinel, so it's guaranteed to to pick the cryptic base, and then it'll have you know like a forty percent, thirty five, forty percent chance to keep the sentinel reward mod. Uh, if it doesn't, I still have a cryptic pandemonium sentinel base. Uh, but you can buy cryptic pandemonium sentinels for like twenty or thirty chaos a piece, uh, whereas you would have to pay one two or three exalts for the sentinel mod reward uh even like tier two tier three so uh, that's just uh, that's a garbage rate in my opinion i mean i mean it makes sense because obviously the rewards are incredibly good but i highly recommend you know running if you're gonna run sentinel rewards uh you take it seriously actually go all the way with it and put make sure they're put on uh, good bases so you know i can have like a, like some g garbage cobalt sentinel of <laughs> of mystery and just recombinate it into a cryptic pandemonium sentinel base and you know there's like a 15 to 20 percent chance that's going to hit in, in every way i want it to uh, so that's pretty exceptional and obviously you know if i get sentinel rewards on uh an obsidian or ember stone base i'll probably run that anyway or I'll keep that, right? You know, li like this. So I, I had recombinate a couple of them in here, and this is all I got back. Well, you know, this is good enough. I'll run this. That's tier 2 Sentinel reward on Obsidian bases uh, with 120, 130 monsters. Yeah, no big deal. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that there's been a little change in how I'm running Sentinels. I'm, I'm improving how they're running, and you even saw one highlight. I was quite often blowing a, sen a Pandemonium Sentinel getting four five even six recombinators to drop at once as well as a whole bunch of sentinels to drop at once and to and to put the icing on the cake here check this out check this out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven in 100 maps i got back 11 unique apex sentinels <laughs> which is way higher than usual usually i only get like one or two or maybe three uh, but i got 11 back here and if you check the rate on these, these all go for like 50 to 50 chaos all the way up to more than an X. Uh, if you get especially, take a look at this one. Empowered monsters drop 10 sentinel rewards. Okay, people, I, people are paying more than 1X for unique sentinels with sentinel rewards. I know that for a fact because I've sold a couple. I got three of these in here. I think three out of the 11 are sentinel reward sentinels. So that's... You know, that's like three or four exalts right there just in three unique sentinels that I wouldn't normally probably even find because I wasn't, you know, wouldn't normally necessarily be running sentinel reward sentinels so, um, so focused anyway. So that, that is just like multiple incentives to do it. And I'm talking about self-sustaining. I still think, you know, I'm actually coming out, even if I go around and purchase cryptic pandemonium bases for like 20, 30, 40 years, even 50 chaos a piece, I'm still coming out way ahead doing that. Uh, absolutely worth it. Absolutely. 
Uh, so you better believe, like, even when these Obsidian, Pandemonium, Sentinels are, are done, I'm going to turn around and recombinate them back into some random cryptic base. Because I want to see uh, those numbers up high. And the cool thing about that is, if you're doing, like, uh, Sentinel and Go on the Glacier, having a cryptic base isn't all that beneficial, because there's not enough monsters to, for, to make use of that. It, that strategy only produces like 300 monsters on the entire map uh, and you're supposed to use the sentinel twice uh, so a lot of people are running that strategy for them so it kind of leaves the market open that's why i think uh cryptic bases for example are as cheap as they are because nobody's the average person farming the average uh, strategy is, is not really getting a whole lot out of them whereas mine uh if i'm if i'm uh cautious if I have a whole bunch of headhunter buffs, I can run around. I don't have to kill the monsters. I can just kind of run through all the packs. I'm a raider, so I have 100% phasing. Uh, you know, it, it's just... It stars align kind of... <laughs> uh, works extremely well. Uh, can even keep up Rampage in the process of doing it. also have strong boxes to open nearby. And the strategy I'm doing, of course, front loads a huge number of monsters on the map. It's not like I, I have like all kinds of league mechanics, or like Alva, or whatever, that are... That are where the monsters are not all spawned in the same area at once. No, it's, it's Elder Scarab, it's Harminger, it's um, Eldritch uh, Influence, it's Hunted Traders. It's just all the monsters that are already on the map. It's strong boxes which can easily be opened in the process and getting back. So it's absolutely bananas, you know, how, how many monsters I'm able to... Uh, I, I'm able to get, like, full value out of a 350 monster Cryptic Pandemonium <laughs> Sentinel hit, which, you again, you would have seen on... The highlights i don't always get all of that but uh quite often do uh so yeah anyway i just really wanted to drive that point home so i do think that's uh, good to do it if you're doing you know crimson temple especially if you're doing it on a raider um wow really good so let's get into the thing y'all came here for all right 34.24 exalts to start with we got uh, 248 248, all right. 248 plus 15 recombinators. Bases. We're going to add those in here. Plus 12 awakened gems, which I'm counting at one X apiece. Those uh, means I grossed around 275 wowzers. Okay, now of course we got to minus the uh, investment. Uh, the, this time was thirty-four point two four, and again it was six and a half hours. They're right about really hitting that pretty easily now, and almost hit forty x an hour now. Now of course with exalt prices, if if, if exalts were one hundred and eighty chaos a piece, this would not be thirty-seven x an hour. It'd probably be like thirty-one, thirty-two. Uh, but with the adjustment of exalt, that's what what the x per hour is and oops I forgot one thing this number goes here okay so yeah that's what uh, two exalt and a whole bunch of recombinators will do for you let's see how much uh, value that is so so in recombinators alone I got 8687 how much is that jeez eight Eight six, eight seven. By the way, one thirty six. So sixty three out of the two forty one. Well, let's see what that is. So approximately a quarter of all the currency I farmed was actually in recombinators, and that is with the with the price of recombinators uh, being fairly stable. Uh, it looks like armor recombinators kind of high a little bit. They, they definitely weren't 40 cals for these before. But again, um, I was selling, b before the announcement ever came in play, I was selling uh, armor and jeweler recombinators at a rate of like 1x to 7 recombinators. So that's when X were 180 a piece. Uh, so I was selling them for like 30 chaos a piece anyway uh, at the time. In bulk, obviously. So I. I guess the last thing to check here would be uniques. Uh, nothing much at all. 
<laughs> a soul taker and intuitive leap and blah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that kind of happened. All right. Gone. Well, I don't want to wait anymore. I want to get straight into this gambling sense. portion. We got, uh, man, what do I have here? I got uh, nine cloaks of toms and I'll do three mantras of flames. Six awakened and light supports. Six enhanced supports. Let's see if we can get ourselves one or two level five enlightens and or a plus one socketic gem chest. Here's hoping. Wait, what did it do? Oh, bricked. Okay. Here comes what could be another 260 exalts or more. Woo! Oh, double up in your face. Pimped out my ride on the level five enhan- I'm so used to saying enhance. Enlighten. Double up. 523. Should put that for 300x and no less. Count them two. All right, we're we're good. We're good. I I, I don't even care about the, the other one. All I was super happy if I got even two up. And I did get two up, so the, this next one can do anything it wants. I don't care. Well, well, well. Gambling results are in, and all is right with the world. Look at this beautifully balanced picture here with six enlightened, two down, two the same, and two up. Yes, well, that's actually really good, RNG, for the enlightened explicitly. Uh, but um, I deserve that because last. 100 map session, the gambling portion screwed me over terribly. I only had two down and two the same and zero up uh, out of those four. So I guess you could say out of the last 10 Awaken Enlightened supports, I have two up, four down, and four the same. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, anyway, we're looking at this session explicitly. We can see there one of the enhanced gems up, four down. So yeah, I mean, three up six the same three down that I mean that's a it's pretty obvious to me now that the chance is 25 percent 50 percent 25 percent uh for the in other news uh, with the double corruptions on the items had very good rng in terms of the outcomes have four four out of the 12 uh double corruptions were successful only one stayed the same Unfortunately, I did not hit what I wanted to, but I have a couple here. These two right here are actually pretty decent. I don't think even once addition uh, five percent physical damage reduction while stationary. Uh, but you know, minus chaos taken and with projectiles or plus two AOE is not bad, of course, on the chest. And then we have a mantra of flames, which I, I don't really know if this. I, I think minion damage is valuable for this, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's the results. Pretty good overall. I, I really do want to try and get a plus one all, plus one socketed gem chest at some point. Uh, but anyway, I think you know what I'm doing now. I'm doing all the stacked decks. And look, I only had 151 as opposed to like 700 or whatever. Samurai's eye. Wow, okay. Samurai's eye. All right. I, I, think, I think at this point I'm actually ahead. I should probably just stop now while I'm ahead. <laughs> I got Samurai's Eye in like 10 cards or 20 cards. My mana is gone. Uh, so I was talking earlier about how I was doing Sentinel Reward Sentinels and as... <laughs> I thought that was a third one for a second. <laughs> uh, consequently, I did not find hardly any stacked decks from Sentinel Rewards because... I mean, it just goes to show how many Sentinels I had with Divination card rewards uh, before. The fact that I was walking away with like 600, 700, or 800 stacked decks and 100 maps. Uh, it should be pretty obvious to you guys that a lot of my Sentinels had uh, Divination card, uh, Divination rewards as part of it. Uh, this time, almost nil, I think. Maybe, maybe zero, actually. Honestly, it might have been zero. Uh, yeah, I think it, it actually might have been zero. I don't know. 
I mean, it would be nice to have divination card rewards and sentinel reward, but I'm not going to push my luck with that. No. The Enlightened. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're cute. Real cute. All right. Uh, final results. I actually think I might have come out ahead on that for just 151 cards. Let's see. I don't know, actually. Hold on. So Samurai's Eyes, 40 Chaos. Enlighten is 40 chaos. Uh, 40, 60. No, I guess I still. I guess I still came came out behind, but not by much. Not by much. Yeah. All right, folks. I'm happy to report. Uh, maps 501 to 600 are finished, and we had better than average RNG. Still hoping for that trip three or four apothecary cards in a hundred map uh, session uh, surely it's gonna happen to me at least once in a thousand maps here's hoping until then i've given you some cool info about what you can do with sentinel reward sentinels go out there buy some cryptic pandemonium bases slam literally any sentinel you can find with a decent sentinel reward uh, reward roll onto it into i mean run it first if you want and then after it's gone slam it into i mean really any cryptic pandemonium base all you all you're hoping for is cryptic pandemonium sentinel with sentinel rewards and you've got yourself five exalts worth of value probably <laughs> I mean, it's like if you run it right so uh yeah that's it i will be coming out with the next set rather quickly actually because this is i i still have another two days off work and i have uh we have a special holiday in japan coming up here uh shortly called obone holiday it's like uh, 10 days off work uh so we're gonna slam all this out pretty quick I think may we may even see the final 1,000 uh, map final final result video come out in the next two weeks before the league ends. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Fortunately, this is kind of the last thing I really had planned for this league, so I just need to get this out of the way before <laughs> anything else. And the fact that the league was postponed is gonna make it all too easy. I think to slam this out. Uh, yeah. Well, appreciate it as always, and to the people who are watching the gambling portion, hope you were enter entertained. I know I was. That was a good one. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.